I feel an enormous sense of personal pride here uh, and appreciation for the people of North Norfolk for showing faith in me again. Um, but I think it will be a, seen as a historic miscalculation. Uh, and it, uh, the theme of what I tried to say was about taking people for granted. So locally, I think many people, including the media, uh, took uh, people for granted. They assumed that 8,000 UKIP voters would switch to the Conservatives. Uh, but nationally, there was this assumption that they would win with a big majority. Uh, and that, in effect, sort of arrogance um, leads to people becoming unstuck. Uh, and that's what's happened in a big way uh, tonight. Given the short campaign, I think we've a uh, lot to be pleased about with the campaign. Obviously, we'd like to have won, but um, I think we've laid sure foundations to the future. We had an excellent candidate in James, local lad, come back um, to where his family come from, where a huge number of his family live. Um, and I think he's a lot to offer for this area. And I think when people look at dispassionately to see the people that James brought up, the sort of people that we need to do things in North Norfolk, um, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Secretary of State for Agriculture, Secretary of State for Community and Local Government. I think in the long that is what we need, and that's the sort of people that this area has been deprived of uh, for the past few years. And we need someone working in government for North Norfolk. And congratulations, first of all, to Norman Lamb for being re elected. Um, it's a disappointing result uh, for Labour, um, but we've had a great night across the whole country, and I think that's what we're looking to build on in the future. But also, what, what tonight has proved in North Norfolk is that we have a substantial anti Tory majority in this part of the world, and we, as the Labour Party, need to make sure that we um, gain more of that uh, going forward in future elections.